Well, <clears throat> good afternoon everybody. It's an absolutely beautiful afternoon and uh, I'm on the Jolly Jupiter who, um, this is my third ride on the Jolly Jupiter and to all intents and purposes he's a very interesting horse because to all intents and purposes he on, on a level he seems fine he's not outwardly nervous of people you can come in and just plonk the tack on as it were if you want to and he doesn't run to the back of the box um, you can move around on the saddle quite a lot in walk at least not in any other pace um, but the first indications that something that something isn't quite right is, is he's not good to bridle. I don't know, I mean yes we can bridle him but he puts up a bit of a fight and secondly when the saddle goes on and you go to girth it up um, he starts walking round the box, uh, starts walking into you and round you. Uh, so these a little indications that, that things aren't quite right and when he goes out like this he seems quite ploddy and I can put my leg on uh, he stands at the block nicely for me to get on and stand still while I adjust everything so but as I'm talking you can just see you know the you can just see like he's not thinking forward He's being a bit reluctant and uh, I've got my leg on but I'm just sort of um, letting him do his own thing to a degree just to sort of for purposes of explanation so we're not really going anywhere out here he appears very steady going forward outside like this but it, it doesn't stay like this for very long uh, he, because there's like he knows too too much of some things and not enough of others so he's he's very conscious as soon as the rider gets on at the block he's got his ears turned back to the rider wondering what their motives are but when he's going along he doesn't really he's not a spooky ride and he does take you for a ride largely you know he's not really going forward at the moment but he is a forward thinking horse there's no problems with forwardness but the the difficulty he has is he doesn't understand what to do with that forwardness so he's essentially running away now I'm not suggesting he's bolting he's not bolting and we don't get out of trot goodness knows what his canter's like but I should think at this stage he hasn't really got one um, judging by his trot but he's running away in the trot and uh, yesterday, so this is my second ride on him, uh, yesterday was an experience and a half because I kind of just, I just trotted on him as most people would trot. So the faster he went, the faster I rose and the quicker he went, the quicker I went up and down. So I was kind of trying to steady him up, but I was rising the way he was trotting, if that makes sense. And what was happening, he was getting faster and faster and faster and faster till he was like a costermonger's horse. And he was calling and uh, he couldn't wait to get home. He just, he, he's a real homing pigeon. And, and that tells me, um, tells me an awful lot. So yes, there's this, he, and he, there's not, it's, it's not a problem or a project horse, but the reason I'm, I want to sort of talk about him is because it's a really interesting case because I can get my leg on him like this and he seems to be doing everything that I want him to do but yet underneath there are a lot of currents I mean no wonder his owner sometimes doesn't feel quite right on him because it's not like sitting on a time bomb I was having a poo it's not like sitting on a time bomb but it's certainly not like sitting on a confident horse there's a huge amount of worry in him and he's one of these that hides it really well so the, to the unobservant and untrained eye all looks well 
in the house of Jupiter. But in actual fact, it's not well at all. Now he may, even though it's only his my second ride and his third ride all together, he may, um, you know, settle down with his trot today. But you see, he's so reluctant to go out, so sort of like push on. It's easy, it'd, be, it'd be easy to think, what is she talking about? You know, this horse is just as quiet as a dope on a rope. But I can assure you, he, he absolutely isn't. And that quietness belies um, an anxious nature who doesn't trust the rider and is always looking, look, see, he's always looking He's looking for a way, just like so many of them, he's looking for a way out of the situation. So he's not an happy horse, he's forward thinking, but every so often he does get stopped. He, he does, you know, plant a little bit. And of course he calls from time to time, I don't know if he will today. And when a horse calls from time to time out on their own, you can be sure that they're really, um, they're still not quite there yet, but we haven't got to contend with shying as such. He's not a spooky ride, but he's the trot is all over the place, absolutely all over the place, and it shows lack of balance, physical balance, and also lack of mental balance. So um, at some point he's going to start speeding up, and he's going to get really, really marchy, or at least he has done for the. I don't suppose today will be any different. So he's crawling along like he can hardly put one foot in front of the other. And I'm squeezing with my legs. But he's just thinking, does she really mean it? Do you see? Look, and then he goes like that, see? Now, you see, that, that's what he wants to do. He, he really does want to turn around. He's saying, no, I, I don't think you ought to be trusted. But because he's such a good boy, he, he will actually go on again. You know, we've caught this fella just in time. 